Hey folks, this is Novel Rambler, and welcome back to RimWorld. We're actually not far from where the last one ended. I went, oh, just a couple of hours to wrangle people into into uh, some jobs, and then kind of laid out things like marble tiles for the uh, for the jail, something like that. I think marble over here is going to look good inside of all the granite, give us a little bit of a contrast. In fact, have we done that before? Uh, you are marble, so we're marbling over here, but we haven't installed it anywhere. No, this is all marble on marble, so we don't see the contrast. But I think we'll tile this rather than smooth it, or we'll never get it done. <laughs> anyway, we're at 2100. I stopped here for a couple of reasons. One, Kimmy finally made it in. They didn't go out to here after all. I thought they were going to come down this side, which had me a little concerned because this Link's living over here right now, and she is going to be hungry soon, which means we're going to lose somebody in here and the rest are all going to go fight it and and bop it up with their their clubs and and uh, I don't know we, we might lose relations with them if there are too many injuries as a result or they shoot each other as a result two they've decided to move into Klaus and Ugg's room so we're going to have to find them other lodgings for the night hopefully they don't go into here too but they've they've kind of randomly picked this as their their focal point here so i'll move klaus down into there and I need to get ugg somewhere probably actually you know what i was going to say up in there but hmm probably good to start moving folks back into here what kind of temperatures do we have um over there 60 degrees kind of cold because it's what outside 62 outside and the mountain kind of transfers the cold in hmm uh, we have one heater running no we haven't oh <laughs> that episode that I lost we had that thing finished and running and this is a nice toasty area over here but not anymore so in here is 60 degrees and these two are doing just fine so Klaus and Ugg oh Ugg that's right Let's start with this. Ugg needs to be renamed. Right over here. Ugg, you are no longer Ugg. You are now David. So David, welcome to the colony. And who is David? David was a coma child. A childhood accident put David into a coma. He didn't wake up until he was in his late teens. His body never recovered from the years of inactivity, but people tend to take pity on him when they hear his story. Social plus four. He likes to talk about it. Construction minus two and mining minus two. So those are strenuous jobs. Um, construction engineer. Though he went into it anyway. <laughs> well, good. That really offset the construction. So this was construction... Minus two, but this is construction positive eight. David was a construction worker on a on a mid-world. So apparently he decided to overcome what was thrust upon him as a child and and uh, fought his way through and, and went to the top of his field. He, he led a team which built everything from office blocks to cathedrals. His busy job and numerous nearby fast food outlets <laughs> meant he never cooked for himself. So negative three and growing. Oh, cooking is disabled. Okay. And positive eight on construction. Okay, so he can't cook or intellect, but he can construct like crazy and has a passion for it. Passion for social, passion for art. So he's another one that may eventually take full advantage of this four uh, art bay, a four bay art studio we've got going on here. Otherwise is nimble. David has remarkable kinesthetic intel in what what? what? has remarkable kinesthetic intelligence okay i've got to let that one sink in a little bit he seems to dance around danger with prenatural grace melee dodge chance plus 15 which is why i'm thinking this is really our second melee character we're starting at a one on each which means we've got to train up something if i can just figure out how to train melee that's the problem we can't send them out to go hunt squirrels and bop them upside the head and come back in and get a rabies shot and go back out and do it again because the game won't let us. I'd have to micromanage, go hunt, go bang on this one for a while, then go bang on this one for a while. We've got to sit out there in the field, which maybe we will. Maybe we'll wait till we get like a third melee character and then bring all three of them, you know, probably right in here, all three of them out there to a field of squirrels and turtles and 
although Eric hit his hepaphobia about turtles, but but um, we'll come up with something. Rats, yeah, that should be fine. And set them all loose to go bop on them and and go until they're bleeding out so much that we've got to call it a day and come back in and let uh, Tomislav uh, experiment on them in the uh, in the prisoner experimentation ward. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, um, chemical fascination has an intense fascination with chemical sources of enjoyment. He will consume high or much more of them and will sometimes go on, on hard bin drug binges. He will ignore directives to not use pleasurable drugs. Uh, you may ignore them, but I'm still going to set them anyway. No drugs, no drugs, social to no drugs, no drugs. All right, we're going to try even if we lose. Uh, David Builder forced forced him to wear a cowboy hat because I thought that might work well, you know, the, the naked cowboy because he is a nudist um, right there nudist David enjoys the feeling of freedom that comes from being nude he can handle clothes but will be happier without it so is only getting because of the the thin thread jacket that I gave him the option to put on. I don't believe that's forced, right? Um, let me think here. Assign. And right there, edit. So I, I, I check that one in case. In case we start getting too cold. I don't want hypothermia. <laughs> Set into his nether bits when we get into the winter and I forget all about it. But he will have his, his, uh, you know, his shield belt on. And I thought, you know... Let's let's do the cowboy hat. Let's just do the cowboy. He he went immediately for a psychic foil helmet, so I had to turn that off. Though I could turn that back on and just come over here and intentionally uh, forbid them, if I can find them. We've got two there. There they are. So forbid both of those. That'll keep that from happening. But yeah, I thought the naked cowboy look might might work pretty good there. Um, so that is David, right? Nothing else we missed don't think so okay so that's good there and I also paused because I wanted Klaus to go ahead and take care of this deal tonight and Klaus is I had sent him over to get these built we need to clear out one more wall to this cell but I can't do it because it opens us up wide into the base so we need to get this built and then tear that out and get a wall in there and then a third layer right over here and Tony had recommended while I'm thinking about it that we go ahead and put in the third layer in here too which we just might but I want to get more of the base done in here so long term yes but for immediately let's just work on uh, continuing uh, getting folks into bedrooms which is where I was when I started talking about Ugg and needing him to go somewhere tonight Ugg is the newest one does he deserve to be one of the first ones to get one of the new rooms when the others have have put in all their time that's what's going through my mind rather than just quickly to solve a situation say ugh and klaus and you're done so i think it's only fair that hmm whom handy tomislav are going into the the um the doctor's quarters we'll call this room so that's where they're heading uh this is michael he will be probably down around here, I would think. Heading up toward here a lot. Working in production and things like that. Natalia is probably down in this area as well. Um, who else is right up in here? Miss P and Cathra. Cathra similar down there. Miss P, <clears throat> we're doing a lot of mining. What will she be doing after the mining is finally done? And there will be a time of finally that when it is done, she then wants to do art and even get into cooking. And then maybe even play with taming animals later. Hmm. Do, who do we move first is really what I'm working on here. Klaus into there. Michael. Hmm. Well, let's give... Let's move Cathra and Missa P down into here for now. Let's just do that. So you're going to be uh, Cathra moved into here. Where are you at? Right down there. Missa P, you're going to be over here. Right there. That gets you two moved. This room is now available. Uh, you can crash in here for the night. 
not Ugg, David. Oh, i got to retrain my brain. David, you're at the bottom of the list. You're going to head into here. These two are unknown. Klaus is temporarily in there. Then he comes back and gets his own his whole, his own bedroom. Until we go and you know recruit somebody else and have to come up with a new plan. Uh, Klaus, long term, the thought was a room that was right here. That was tossed out with the realization that when they prison break, he's going to have to handle it alone because we're all over here. So maybe Klaus gets into a place like this, or if we do single rooms, another block of single rooms over here, until he's an old married man, then he gets one of the double rooms. Hmm. We could do another block of single rooms over here. That's possible. I could lay that out maybe uh, uh, after the episode's over. Just kind of duplicate this. Too bad. I think it's Prison Architect that lets you just kind of go like this, and yeah, it does. And basically copy. And then come on over here and paste. And it's all done. But, you know, at least the blueprints are. But we can't do that in RimWorld. All right, so back to Klaus and to get this episode finally started. Now that I'm, yeah, quite a ways into it. Klaus, you were going to do those two. Let's instead get... Who was heading over here? Um, David. Nope. Eric. Yep, you're heading over here. Right there, you're going to work on that one. Then you can work on that one, and then you can work on that one. Okay, Klaus, you are going to go talk to Kimmy. All right. Now we can get it going. Shantigo's got his stove loaded. He is... That's all that she put in there. Natalia? Interesting. Huh. Natalia had, had uh, cut up a boomalope and brought 89 meat in and went here first and left, like, 10. <laughs> oh, well. All right, so Shantiga, when you're done with that, boomalope, haul that in. And when you're done with that, haul that in. Great. That will be meals through the night. Who else is doing what? Handy is granite blocks to... You went all the way over here to get granite blocks to go all the way back into the prison. Oh, that is so frustrating. They're right here. It's... 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 it's uh. <laughs> Let's divert her and not, not let that insanity to continue. I did have Klaus come in and reset those two traps that I forgot needed to be set, but what can you be doing out here? This has been triggered. Lights are on in here. I didn't notice that before, which means this auto door is working again. Um... What else needs to be done right over here? This is done. That could be done, but that seems not worth the trouble. Is there anything else? Yeah, there is. Why don't you just bring a load of, of uh, steel over to here? Work on that instead. Okay. So, Rabbit, you were working on trees. Now you're consuming a meal, getting ready for bed. Tomislav is cleaning dirt in this area. There you are. Yeah, we'll kind of get that done, and then and then work. I set a whole bunch to grow before I started the episode. Thomas Slav, I wanted to wait for him to get a little more cleaning done before I did that. Let's go out there and get everything planted. Spend tomorrow just planting everything and get all the sewing done. All right, Klaus made it to Kimmy. Kimmy, the Noble Alliance. <laughs> all right, let's go. They've got 1,200. Oh, good. Okay, let's go through their stuff. We'll always take the chocolate, because chocolate's good. And we've got meats. Hmm. 241. Cloth. Looking to see what else we've got here. 241 for meats. Do we want to? It'll save us from another hunting trip. We'll think about that one. What's down here? Chem fuel. We've got 600 chem fuel built up. Wow. That means we need to find a little bit safer place to store it, don't we? They got more Nutramine. We've got 115 in stock. Hmm. What is a good goal to work toward? <clears throat> That's a good question. Um, we've got three hospital beds built. So we're going to wipe out another 30 medicine and we're done with that. Then it's just normal, everyday, you know, raids and, and crashes and... and, and needing lots of medicines so let's let's bring this up to 150 for now we'll just keep keep stepping this up a little higher every time we have another trader come in that's got some so 35 that's 145 35 35 so just write you in there okay 
that's 300 going out for that one. All right, so that takes us to 150, and next time we'll grab another 50 or so, and eventually we get up to like 200 in stock. Uh, components were pretty good on, yeah, we're at 93 components. We're, we're great there. I don't know that we want to sell chem fuel. Let's just keep stockpiling it if we can figure out where to put it, that it won't go boom on us. Cloth, 1,237 cloth. Oh, plus another 5, plus another 70. Wow. Hmm. Don't need to buy it. Do we want to sell it? Good question. Or we just stop growing it for a while and, and leave more space. That's what I did here. This is all going to become uh, strawberries in this one. Yeah, let's not sell it. Let's hang on to it yet. Um, rolling down like so. Steel, 229. Meat was 241. So steel's cheaper than meat. Hmm. What's it cost to get a load of steel? Get everything. Now we're at 1,000. Let's do that. We have more steel out there, but it's way, way out there. And it'd be nice just to get some dumped right here in our laps. Let's do that. Um, what else do we have available to buy? Get all the buying done first so that they'll have the most money available for us to then sell and sell and sell until they run out. Cloth pants. No. Um, I, I read cool jacket. A cloth jacket. Um... Gazelle leather parka, cloth duster, mega sloth wool, a double strand duster red. Interesting. I just had this vision of our naked cowboy wearing a red devil strand duster. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. <laughs> it means he's gonna have a permanent negative three on him all the time, but I think that kind of works. He can choose whether or not he wants to close that duster. Um. All right, they've got a cloth tribal headdress to sell, a wooden war mask to sell, which does what? Artistically terrifying war mask. Hides the, the wearer's face and makes them more confident. So does it actually say what it gives a bonus to? Does not. So does it give a bonus to social? Does it give a bonus to melee? What does a war mask actually bonus? give you a bonus toward confidence is that the same as the find a cowboy hat um gives anyone it wears extra charm so that's probably social so what does confidence interact with let me know we don't need that but in case we ever want to get a load of them for the future and store them out there in our armory in the gauntlet all right you're there and we've got a psychic foil helmet we will take that one definitely um <laughs> An $8,600 Golden Advanced Helmet. Wow. The ego of whoever was will be wearing that. I don't think so. You've got a chair, you've got a dresser, you've got a slate table. And that's it. So that is all that we're going to buy from them. What do we want to get rid of? All right. We bought the chocolate. Yeah, so it's heading down here. We got. They've got to sell. We've got these numbers over here. All right. So we're going to keep all the meats. There's nothing worth only a penny or two, like it rotted out and, and not going to do us any good. Uh, milks, uh, components, chem fuel, cloths, we'll keep the cloths. So this, when a cloth, when a, an item is really low on quality, thus worth only half as much. Is that something you want to get rid of? Or when you make something out of it, does it reset that back to 100% quality again? Does processing something that is damaged reset its value when it becomes the next item, the next stage? That's something I've never really confirmed my, for myself. I don't really want to get rid of any of the things that we have very little of because we're going to go rat hunting soon and train up some, some at least some pistols, if not some, some melee. So we will be getting lots more rat for example. So Ambrosia, we'll get rid of you. Okay. Um, steel, <clears throat> we bought that. Beer, um, t-shirts, all the D's. That's where we're going next. Anything in here that's not a D? No. So I can just blanket get rid of everything on the screen. That's so much easier than trying to look over there. Now if I could just click where I'm 
aiming or aim where I'm clicking. D's, all of these are D's too. Good. Money-wise, we're still fine. We'll see if we get into statues or... Oh, well, we're probably not going to get into weapons, are we? Darn, we can't get rid of the scyther blades. D's still all of it. Wow. The stockpiles are going to be so empty when this is done. Ah, here we go. So D's down to there. Although Alicia will wear the D's just fine. There's that to think about. And there's... Well, the Psychopaths, we have two of those now, too. That might. Are there any Ds that are 100%? Let's just kind of glance through there. I assume that means the Ds that are the most expensive are the better better quality ones. Um, I'm seeing everything in the 70s. There was 180? Nah, everything's pretty well, you know, shot up and, and uh, you know, beat up from us taking them down. So I guess we'll we'll leave those gone. Okay. Otherwise, going through our own stuff, that's, oh, say, 80-some percent or less. Just to, yeah. So there's an awful 91 percent. Yeah, we'll toss that one, too, the awfuls. We'll get rid of that. Both of those. That one's 100 percent, even though it's shoddy. So we'll keep that one. Um, same with there. 52%, nobody wear that anymore. 53, there's a poor 84 of pants. We'll hang on to that for now. Same with that one. Okay, move into here. 77, poor, but 100%, so we'll keep those. Goods, so there's a 69, there's a 96 poor, we'll keep that one. 61, 86 shoddy duster. Um... We'll keep it. It takes so long to make a duster. Let's not add another one in to the, uh, to the, the queue of having to be done anytime soon. 60% um, they won't wear anymore. 71s, there's a good jacket. Though that's their good jacket. Never mind. In fact, were some of these other ones? I may have been like the good... Yeah, that's theirs. Oh, so, you know, void all those comments. That didn't work. Okay. Superior, 78% pants. That's a sell. Okay. So this one is a 100% and it's actually ours. Okay, good. That one does work. We'll keep it. Otherwise, these two shoddy normal are theirs. Um, right in here. Good 92. We'll keep. Um, keep. That is theirs. And a parka. 90% we'll keep that. Alright, heading into the toques. So a new category of D's. All the way down to here. Nothing else mixed in? No. Alright, so we're at this point. That's ours. Cloth, 54. Nope. 76. Nope. Cowboy hat shoddy, but 100%. We'll keep them for now. Poor, 95%. Poor, 95. Poor, poor. Normal. I lost it there. 94, 72 helmet. we got to keep that one. Keep that one. That's theirs. All right. So we're still have a lot of stuff. Oh, we're running out of stuff to sell. Okay. So bed awful, poor, 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 normal, and poor. Those are all the things we just uh, uninstalled. And a grand sculpture normal. Huh? Grand Sculptor. Michael just finished this one. Oh. Michael. And this time, it has a description. Okay. So it did. It does pick the name at the completion of it. Interesting. So, um, what have we got here? Isolation. So, by Michael. Uh, this artwork refers to Klaus Stripping Toad. Okay, um, this carving bears an image of Klaus disrobing Toad Dorna in public with a sense of purpose. Toad is visibly aroused. <laughs> the whole image is depicted by the careful arrangement of hundreds of tiny dinosaurs. While the work is shaded in hues of black and green, this artwork refers to... Yeah, um... I have no idea what this means. Is Toad the previous name of one of ours? 
Um, there was one character that I sent off, and I, in, in between episodes, sent out of the uh, uh, the prison because we weren't going to keep him or her, and they had an armor vest or had something that was of value, so I went ahead and had them strip. Otherwise, I usually set them out with their clothes. But I don't remember a toad. So I don't know. It's interesting. It's 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 interesting description. It's worth quite a bit of money, but 240 beauty. I think we better hang on to that one, which means we're giving up a lot of silver here. We're not gaining this time, and there's not much more I can sell. The only thing I can do to keep the silver is to uh, not buy a few things. Um, I think we're just going to go ahead and do it this time. We're just not going to. I thought about maybe going back and thinking about meat keep us from hunting again, but eh, the hunting benefits us, benefits our shooting skills, so we'll go ahead and do the hunting, so no point in buying these. And unless I sell something like, oh, the the lowest quality cloth, we can get rid of that stack, which hopefully it's all a single stack somewhere, and so it's uh, you know going to actually clear a whole space in our storage. Otherwise, um, selling chem fuel is about the only other thing I can think of, and I don't know, it's going to be a while before we get around to uh, um, doing any jaunts with, I can't think of the name of them now, the little shuttles you can build to shoot you into another map tile. So we're not going to be, we're going to have plenty of time to build up a reserve of chem fuel before we get to that stage. But it may be that to survive on this side of the river next winter with our entire base lit up and auto-doored and everything else that's going on, you know, four times the size of the freezer and refrigerator areas, then, you know, we may need an entire bank of chem fuel generators running. And it might be wise to have, continue to build this up until we've got, you know, several thousand chem fuels so we can be running those 24-7 and never worry about uh, power outages. So we'll have to really think about that. But yeah, we do, we do want the steel coming in, which is down there. So I think we're good. Except, and pause. What landed here? I know the chocolate did. Where'd the chocolate go? And where'd Klaus go? Klaus. Huh? How'd you get all the way in here? You two must have been in the doorway when that happened. But go ahead and haul the chocolate away. And, Cathro, you're in here thinking you're going to bed. Why don't you put the psychic foil helmet away for me? Uh, haul. And... David, hauling steel to tool cabinet. I'm going to interrupt you. Why don't you come and wear the devil's strand uh, duster? And that's it. Just a bunch of steel the pigs can deal with. And they haven't invaded this room yet. So I'd say we're good. Okay. So we're going into the night crew now. Everybody else is... Boy, the sound of doors constantly opening. <laughs> um... So night crew's coming on, and what the storage look like after that? Oh, that's nice. Be nice to shut this one down. Just well, tell you what, take it down to a low priority. All right, maybe you guys will start picking up all these things, move them out, and we'll get our our space back over here. We'll just keep it as a backup. Otherwise, Miss P's down here. Um, oh, good, that got done. Miss P, why don't you finish right up in here? Eric, you're the one that got it done. Good. Uh, are you going to bed? Do you need to? You kind of do. All right, I'll leave you alone. I want someone to tear this down eventually, but I need someone that's got some decent construction skills. There's our naked cowboy. Yep, that works. I think that works. Okay. Um, as, you know, now that we've got four and 5,000 and hopefully getting into 10,000 silver eventually... If there are specific things that you guys want your characters wearing, let me know. We'll either make it or we'll just keep an eye out for it. I think that looks pretty good. Um, there was talk at one time of of Michael wanting a cowboy hat. I think it's something we could uh, set up real quick. Uh, in bed, though? Michael... Yep, there's a Z by you. Okay, so we won't deal with that one yet. But those sort of things. And I guess specifics could be done. A, you know, a muffalo wool cowboy hat or a rat skin cowboy hat. But um, 
that's that's a that's doable especially when we get into the new um so maybe not immediately but when we get into our new um tailoring room sewing room then i can put very specific orders in a cowboy hat made of only one kind of material that sort of thing and maybe go out and hunt that to make sure that there's enough in stock but you guys have crashed over here um everyone but miss p who's going to be sleeping the night um we're still fine in here no one ah, did go in there hmm i don't have another bed that's easy other than sending david into here I may just have to. He's going to get so many different uh, uh, debuffs through the night of being interrupted. They're here for two or three days. Yeah, I'd better do that. And you already have one interruption, right? Nope, didn't work. I didn't didn't hit. Good. But you're going where? What just happened? Did I hit Miss P? What did I just do there? Why did you just go to Miss P's bed? Unowned. I must have had something else selected. I had her bed selected. Ah, okay. Yeah. Tunnel vision there. You're going there. And you are going back to the rightful owner of Mississippi. There you are. Okay. Yeah. I looked at the bed and thought I had clicked the bed. All right. You need to go there. And dare we try this tonight? No, 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 let's not. But let's go ahead and get this set up right. That should be enough right there. And I want another one right there. That'll give us three, two deep while we're torn up and then three deep when it's all done. Okay, that works. This room is, that is just wall right there. Just like so. And can't do it. Uh, there I can. And haul all those. Okay. So, nothing else. Nope, that all looks like it's supposed to. Alright, so night crew through the night. So, Miss P, you're doing just what you need to be doing. This can go away. I'm surprised nobody has done that. Well, they've started to several times. Yeah, okay. We'll let that go. Then we'll start to get at least our first one, two, three, four, five rooms done and get this done. Then maybe we can get a functioning prison happening. And then we'll continue the construction down there. Then we can pull this out and get to work on our uh, final plan for a storage area and use this as a backup for now until we come up with another use for this. Whatever needs to be on, whatever power uh, demand needs to be on this side of the river is kind of what I'm thinking of. That's why the crematorium, which we haven't got going yet, we should get that one going. Why the crematorium and the smelter over here because we've got, we're able to tap power on this side for that one. All right, I got that one set up before or after the episode ended last time. Got our new butcher area laid out. Got this torn up and a wall put back in to fill in the blanks. Otherwise, yeah, you guys are just having a ball in here. You really are. Hmm. Okay. Uh, Natalia's up. What are you? Oh, we gotta we gotta modify this. All right. You are first of all a t-shirt that will be done real soon. Okay. So one more t-shirt. But otherwise. We have all these extreme numbers here because of all of the dead men stuff that was in our stockpile. And no way to tell this to not count that. So we're going to take you back down to... Um, it's the same whether I do it in here or not. So we'll just click this a whole bunch of times. T-shirt, and you're working on... That was a t-shirt, right? That was a muffalo leather t-shirt. So take you down to one more then. Five. Okay. Otherwise, pants take you down to six. Lots of clicky clicks. Tukes take you down to three. Get you working, get Natalia working on assault rifles or something. Got plenty of dusters. All right. So we're good there. Cowboy hats. We are into mid to late spring. We'll be wanting cowboy hats soon. But again, let's get you working on this. This or more medicine. It's all gone from here. No, it's over here. Okay. We only need these showing. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. So, you're grabbing a meal. Over here in the machining table is what next? Tomislav's up. Oh, it's already four in the morning. Make advanced helmets. 
two of them because we've been putting them on and not dropping them off in the stockpile. Okay, eventually we'll have enough for everybody. But let's move the assault rifle up a notch. Let's do that. We have enough helmets to get us by for a while. And they're going to be switching out to cowboy hats and other things too. Yeah. In fact, if I do have Michael go over and grab a cowboy hat. And I'm thinking Klaus needs one. Klaus, you just went to get a meal. Um... Yeah, let's let's see what we have in cowboy hats. Once you grab, what are these? Rat and turkey and turkey and turkey. Hmm. And raccoon. Klaus, I bet you would love a raccoon cowboy hat. Right there. Michael, when you get up, you're really going to need a meal. But before you get that meal, I wish you would wake up right now. Oh, you just did. As soon as that triggers. Consuming a fine meal. Good. So after that, come out here and get this rat leather helmet. Or a cowboy hat. And... Oh, that's enough for now. Okay. But that will free up... Well, it will free up a toque and a helmet. Okay. So not enough to satisfy the, the bill down there. But Natalia working on this. And she's just starting. Though, if I had you do one of each of this and that, we can get these off the floor, but that's nah, fine. All right, so what is our goal right now that this episode's almost done? Hmm. Where am I? 35 or so minutes. Yeah. Um, kitchen, soon. Hospital is functioning. We need to get you kind of moved into here. I want the doctor near where his patients are going to be which is why we, I you know this has kind of worked out well so let's work in here so handy building a granite wall you're over in there um let's get you tell you what we're, we're starting a day let's do something here let's actually from here orders mine mine this area for me um yeah, that'll work. Miss Peep, how much time do you have left? You're not going to be here that long. You have a meal on you? Gear? You do. You may hang around for a while then. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to have somebody build this wall today if I remember to. But Handy, you don't need to be over here. I can have somebody else do that. How about you go through here and get all of these built? And your meals are fine. So once that's done, well, well let's get somebody else. Uh, Klaus. No, I want you recruiting. Let's see if we can get more people into this series. Um, Eric. Wearing an advanced helmet. Okay. You're where right now? You're out here. You're going to grab that. You've got you, no food in you yet. Okay. I'll leave you alone for a while then. Because you'll then want, unless you already have a meal on you. You do not. I want, you do. Okay. Then, where am I? Eric. You wearing, when you're done, grab a meal. And then I'll manually set you to smoothing. Which will really build up your skills at construction. Reserve by handy. Yeah. So smoothing. Let's have you do half of this room. We get Uggen to do the other half. No, David. Yeah, by next episode, I think Ugg will be banished from my mind. But for now, it's still kind of iffy. All right, you're going to do that. David is going to... How did you do last night? Um, you're very comfortable. Okay, and the party's still helping. Um... Let's get you up. Let's just get you fed. Do you have a meal? You do. Let's get you fed and get you moving. So come on down and grab this. Then let's get you working on the other half, including the door. So that one, all of these. Where did Handy go? She never even made it to here, did she? i to go check on her once I get done with this hypnotic... Uh, uh, repetitive motion here that's driving me insane and making me all 
can't see and not want to click anymore. There, and Handy is on her way in to build a wooden dresser, which needed just five more wood. Now what you doing? Now you're going after more wood for the end table. Because I set you for each individual thing. Tell you what. Let's cancel all that. Get that one done and then move over into here. Which you'll bring enough to do two or three things at a time. And you'll actually finish them. That's the problem with stacking them. Doesn't quite... You're leaving already? I thought the message said they'll be here for two or three days. Hmm. Is there anything else... That we took off and swapped out and, and don't want any more that we could sell while we, can, while we can. Klaus is attempting to recruit. Run out here and talk to Kimi real quick. Let's just evaluate our options one last time. So run out there and do that. Otherwise, I set a whole bunch of people for sewing. Well, Alicia was. It must be 10 o'clock. No, you're harvesting. Oh, good. So that's all done. We're working up in here. Tomasov's up here working. Okay. Did anybody get this job yet? No. Uh, Sangria is going after a muffalo. Okay. And you guys... Nope, nobody's working in the trees. And Klaus is trying to chase down... Where did Kimmy go? Kimmy went that way. Klaus, where are you at? Is this doable? It is. You're almost... Oh, man, she can run. Man, oh, man, she can run. Kimmy! Yeah, that's that's just not gonna happen. He's gonna go eat some chocolate to to get over that one. <laughs> I need chocolate. All right then, fine. Uh, they're gone. So, man, what a mess. Klaus, you get your old room back. Right there. Um, there you are. And this one is this one is now David's right there that's not David's that's Cathra's wait a minute here um no Cathra moved permanently I'd say she moved permanently we need to get these smooth then hmm so we could have gotten rid of this thing we could have a poor grand statue where did the other one go by the way uh not there so it means it's over here which could then be installed here for Michael to keep his moods up when the party wears off. And this is now David's room to be used. Hmm. David doesn't have any serious mood issues. Who does? Think about that. Wait, let this run for a minute. Um, Shantigo needs mood is up there quite high though he rarely gets to a situation where he's in trouble it has happened and his room is now that's my goals Shantigo moved over hmm though we're much better rooms now we really are okay that's probably not an issue all right we'll just leave it there for now I guess so it doesn't really fit anywhere else it's huge Otherwise, um, Andy, you're back over here. Okay, I'm going to have to just kind of make this happen, aren't I? So come on over here and do this, and then we'll call that kind of done. Actually, come on over here and do this next, and then do these. Yeah, let's put you to work. Let's get that one going, too, and get this heater going that you already did two episodes ago, but now it doesn't register that you did them. Yeah. So let's get this area going. And... Successfully tamed an alpaca. Um, handy needs. You're in great shape. So we're going to then add these rooms. Let's just get all the materials brought over and make it happen. There. I think that will do. Um, yeah, throw that one in too. Why is that a different color? Well, that's a medicine drop-off stockpile. Okay. Alright, so with that, that takes care of that. Tomislav, you are... Okay, you guys are all going to chop down trees instead of planting. So it's, it's going to take a, a couple of game days to get them back into sowing. They have to do the harvesting first. I could shortcut that by turning all these fields off. And then they, you know, just delete the, the, 
the field you know, behind it and they'll just leave them here like trees but now we're always going to have a constant need for wood that kind of guarantees that it gets done and with so many people set to grow it'll guarantee the rest of this will eventually get done too just going to take an extra day Cathra is cutting cotton and sewing again okay so yeah it'll get done otherwise where batteries are good over here and handy got one of these going okay good um klaus is building you are working in this room here okay so and handy's gonna drop off into that one good oops that one there it is 30 out of 30 that's ready to go so klaus is going to take care of one of these excellent table an excellent oh an excellent wooden dresser with art let's see it so handy and tomasov's dresser excellent condition and engraving on this furniture is shaped like natalia inscribing her name on a duster with a gleam in her eye the duster glows a soft white the scene takes place in the middle of a municipality while the work is infused with the idea of solidarity and is done in a geometric style this representation tells the story of natalia finishing construction on a duster hmm now that was miss p and Catherine, so natalia doesn't have a room yet interesting will we remember let's hmm Maybe after the episode's over, I'm going to swap this one into a Natalia room. A future Nat Well, tell you what, we could just deal with that right now, though. Oh, we'll wake her up. We will wake her up. We're going to get this connected to her somehow. Whether It's probably going to be right here. And we'll go ahead and toss this one out. Put that one there and have uh, her build a new one. Over here, we've got a good end table. We've got a couple of superior wooden shelves. Uh, normal and an excellent and David is doing is smoothing Eric is smoothing sangria is viewing art handy is working on more things and I think it's time for us to call this episode done I'll continue doing stuff around here get more furniture built if anything exciting happens I'll I'll hit pause and we will start from there so it's been noble Rambler thanks for watching guys bye bye mm -hmm.